Hi, we are your friends from the Maldives. The International Pollen Land Foundation calls us ocean heroes. We call ourselves your friends abroad. We are here to deliver you tasty, fresh and highest quality sustainably caught tuna. To ensure sustainability, we only catch tuna one by one, meaning one person catches one tuna at a time, without nets. This way we ensure there is no overfishing, virtually no bycatch, inhabited damage, all while being labor rich. We are all from Gemunafushi and our one by one fisheries are locally owned so any benefits cascade through our local communities generating a wave of economic activity and employment. Let me take you on a day of Maldivian one by one tuna fishing. We usually start our trips in the evening, sometimes late in the evening but almost always before midnight. After a couple of hours steaming to the baitfish fishing ground, we anchor the vessel and go to bed. At around 4 am we get up again. Why? Because before catching tuna, we need to catch baitfish. Baitfish is used to attract tuna. Here in the Maldives, us pollen land fishers catch our own baitfish. The baitfish here is highly monitored, including the collection of information on species, locations and catch volumes and so we know we never overfish baitfish. Once we have caught enough, it is all about locating the school of tunas in the open ocean. This places us just before sunrise, a really lovely sight to see if you are heading east. By this time, we turn on the bird radar some of us have installed on the vessel. and fishers experienced in sporting schools are beyond the lookout with binoculars. In the meantime, the rest of us hang around the boat, chat, play on our phones, have breakfast until it is time to prepare ourselves for the fishing activities. We also make sure to protect ourselves by wearing helmets. Why? We just wait and see. Have you ever seen a tuna fly? Now it is time to fish. We use barbless hooks which allow for quick release of tuna, increasing fishing efficiency. If the school brings themselves to a feeding frenzy, a state that would happen in large schools and often early in the morning, we can go on fishing for about 20 to 30 minutes or more. With 15 to 20 poles, each fisher landing several tunas per minute, we can easily catch 3 to 4 metric ton within a short space of time. The way we catch tuna, we have minimal bycatch, low impact on the environment and sustain the schools by only catching adult tuna. While we fish, the captain judges the direction of school movement and keeps the vessel ahead of the school in low gear. The waves are moving us forward. When catching tuna, it is important to put them on ice immediately to maintain their freshness, quality and preservation. There is always a crew assigned on each vessel to check the quality of the fish caught. After each fishing event, with the help of the crew, he makes sure that all the fish is put into the fish hold. We now then put the ice which sometimes comes as flake or in blocks and put seawater making it ice slurry. Lunch break after some intense hours of fishing, we again check the quality of the fish and clean up the deck. Hygiene is very important to us. Routinely, temperature of the fish is checked and if more ice is required, it will be transferred into the hole to keep the fish at the optimum temperature. We may continue to fish until bait runs out or until sunset. At that point, we head to the closest collector vessel which is anchored inside the atoll lagoon or to the closest shore-based collection facility. There we unload the fish, paying each load, handing over our tuna to the processing factories so that they can get the tuna to your plates as soon as possible. And that is our day done, almost. Depending on the day of the week, we repeat this cycle and would now head out for bait fishing. If today was Thursday, we would head home to our families after the sale of fish on Thursdays. Some fishermen might decide to go bait fishing Thursday night, but they would always go to the island or a nearby island for the Friday noon prayers. Then on Friday evening, we start repeating the whole process. 
Ultimately, this is our day. Today was a great day, but it is important to remember that not all days are happy. Being a fisher can be rough. It is very labor intensive. We are on our feet all day and start in the middle of the night. We depend on weather conditions. There can be storms. This is just life, but this is our life and we chose this. It's in our culture, it's in our blood and we simply love to this. We live for the ocean and the ocean provides for us. Thank you for your support and for choosing one by one core tuna from the Maldives. All money you spend on this sustainably core tuna stays within our community. So thank you for helping our island. Sending you a big virtual hug. Your Maldivian fisher friends.